All right, pick up the coffee eater. I'm done, Clem. Come see. Okay, be right there. Ruby wants to make some tea. Hey, oh, you're getting better at this. Goodbye, boat. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? What's wrong, AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. Like? There are three kind of eyes, Clem. Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters eyes. They usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people eyes right as you kill them. Like you did to Abel. His, his eyes look like you blew a candle out. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him too. I think there's something wrong with me. You know what, AJ? Everything you're feeling is okay. It makes you a good person. Am I good? I want to be better, Clem. Let people know I'm good just yeah. by my face. You're the best, okay? Yeah, Ever, anyone can be better. I'm getting real smart. <laughs> Is that right? Yes, because I'm always thinking all the time. Good. Okay, what are you thinking about right now? You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. Foreshadowing. Yeah. The older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. What happens then? Anyone can get bit. I'd have Doesn't to eat you. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside you know or happened. how careful you are. AJ, we've talked about this a lot. If I get bit, you know what has to happen. I don't want to talk about this anymore. But you brought it up, so we're going to. Wow. That's true. It does something weird to my stomach. Like I'm gonna get the dookies. <sighs> AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Yeah. Shoot. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you it's your cry, choice. I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. It's your choice. He can do whatever he wants. If you he... get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. Whoa, that we're not we're not what? doing that. You don't mean that. Don't be That's alone. not happening. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much. No, no, no. You can't do that. I've had lost too. It. Alvin Jr., you know you're not supposed to talk like I've this. I've suffered loss, too. You're too strong and too brave. I don't think I am anymore about this. Yes, you are. You are, okay? <sighs> See, the thing is, AJ's got the potential to be stronger than any of them. This is the reason why. Yes, he's younger than all of the kids but that's why he has the potential to be stronger than anyone because this is his his entire life has been this universe his entire life has been these horrible things and you know because because he's been introduced to this since he was born i mean seconds after he was born his mother his own mother tried to eat him okay <laughs> not everybody can say that so the fact that he's so young and he was born into this world to me means that he has the potential to be able to deal with loss even more than Clem because Clem wasn't born into this world herself. So I definitely agree with Clementine that, that ultimately AJ could be stronger than all of the rest of the people at that school to cut together, potential-wise, I mean. You can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. 
like on the inside. Mm, that's true. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. I'd, again, if I, as somebody who believes in an afterlife, I'm like, or, or, or we could be together in a better place. Or. So, I don't know if Clementine necessarily believes that herself, or probably, she probably didn't, like, say any of this stuff to AJ. So, me personally, I, like, I would not really be having this conversation because it'd be like, well, yeah, in, my belief is we'd be together, but not as walkers. We'd be together at a place that's a little bit, in my opinion, more pleasant. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. You think so? Let's say James might be right. That monsters have part of the person they were still inside them. The thing is, no one can prove that. And if we can't prove it, we're not going to risk our lives over it. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. What's with AJ? He just needs some space. Can we talk about what happened today with Minnie? Yeah, I might need to talk to you about what happened today with James. <laughs> um, I will preface this by saying I did say in episode two that if I, I Violet's amazing I like Violet a lot but I did say that if I were to have the option to choose between Violet and James I would choose James Violet's cool though but I think I did say that specifically if, if James was an option to like romance in this game I don't think he will be but if James was an option um, I easily easily would have probably picked James over both Lewis and Violet um, without really much hesitation, I think. Just because I feel like James is the most interesting one. He's the most interesting one. He's got ridiculous ASMR voice up to the wazoo. Um, and as a person, as a, as a person personality-wise, I like him more. Um, than Violet and Lewis as a person. So, anyway. Um, ironically, it was Carver who said first that AJ would be strong generation. Loss is a part of life. Adults know this. I know lots of people who die. AJ has seen Mitch die and Marlon die, but does, not, does he know his mother dies? Did Clem die? That's sweet in a messed up way, but can't really control other people killing them. AJ needs to learn that not everything will work out. He has to do things that he doesn't want to do. Yeah. I've seen a clip where AJ shouts at Clem, you could just be nice to me, stupid head, but I don't know what option leads to that. Don't you be cheating on Violet with James. Not yet, Matt. Not, that was quick. Um, okay. Yeah, sure. What's wrong? The thing is, seeing Minnie, I feel like it should have scared me, but it didn't. Mm -hmm. The person we ran into in the woods, that wasn't Minnie. Not really. The way she sounded and acted, the way she talked about Sophie and Lily. <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. We can I save guess. her. We can save her. We can still save Minnie. If we brought her back, we could... You she... saw how she reacted when Lily showed up. Those are her people now. But she didn't rat us out. are not. But she didn't rat us out. Minnie? The real Minnie. She's gone. If that's true, she's she would... She's been gone this whole time, and I... If that's true, she wouldn't have ratted have us out. I to stop mourning her. I won't let her take you or AJ. Or anyone else I care about. Lewis knows when to keep his head down. Yeah, shit. Oh, I, I hope so. You know, when I first got here, I hated him. He was so much. You know, he walks into a room and it's like, 
Look at me, watch me perform. It's so stupid. Yeah, I'm like that though. But then I realized That's me too. all that he he really cares about people. And he doesn't just feel it. He says it. He'll tell you every goddamn day how much you mean to him. Shit, he'll probably sing about it. Especially if there's already a famous song with your name in it. Did he sing to you too? We've got to get him back. We will. Louis, Omar, Asim, we'll get them all back. Yeah, we have to. Try, at least. Um, I made you this. Aww, it's a button. What's on it? What's on the button? Oh, it's a star. stars. Stars. Never forget that night. Aww, that's so sweet. Will. That's so. Thank you. That's so sweet. A night I'll never forget. When you told me you had feelings for me, I was shocked. Then I started thinking. There's something I've always wanted to try with someone I cared about, and I never have. Okay. What is it? What is it? Have you ever danced with anyone before? <laughs> no. Nope. No. Do you wanna? Yeah, I wanna Just dance us. with somebody. No one else around. I wanna feel the heat. I mean, with I know somebody. it's kind of weird, but it's something I've always wanted to try. Let's try it. Let's try it. I bet you Clementine's a decent dancer. Don't give her the the shepherd shuffle, please. That's not that's nothing. That's not bad. It's not the shepherd shuffle. We're good. We're good. Oh, this is very sweet. This is very sweet. Oh. The Shepherd Shuffer plagues us all. Thanks for the dance. Thank you for yeah, offering. You're getting better at being romantic. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Clem. Oh. <laughs> Ow! I was did I was having a moment. <laughs> wow. Where did you find? I was that having a moment. Ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up, and, and that was pretty gross. But look, it works. <laughs> I should get going. Ruby could probably use some help. Hmm. Look at that swagger that she's got now. It's cool, right? Super cool. Yes. <laughs> Your timing was just terrible, kid. Bop it off his head. <laughs> You're terrible. Hey. This is nice. The calm before the storm. This is really nice. Are they gonna hug? Good. After that talk, they needed to hug it out. I love Sorry. you, Clem. I love you back, kiddo. <sighs> okay, we better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay. It seems like the developers tried to add some downtime in each episode to build relationships. Yes. Yes. Great job on that, writers and developers. Yes. 100%. Okay. Looks like things are coming together. Yeah. We still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? But Lewis isn't here. See that? <laughs> it's like Lewis in a box. Come on, I'll show you how it works. Lewis in a box. Lewis in a box. Lewis in a box. Choose a candle color. We Wouldn't get be a to... party without some kind of mood lighting. Which one should we? I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Room gets Definitely natural purple. moonlight, so red is something over... to compliment that maybe. Hmm. Overrated. Well, red is everyone uses red. Purple was my dad's favorite color. Oh. I read somewhere purple was a color of royalty. 
I wish they had purple. orange. <laughs> really? Like violet. What? I like purple. It's like violet. Shouldn't you like it too? Violet. See. I'll make it happen. Purple and violet are technically two different colors. So you colors. take one of those black things that look like plates and you put it on here. And then Choose it plays music. music. Uh-huh. And now you just have to turn that crank on the side. Huh, that's really cool. It is. Let's choose the music. Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone so he could play some records. Not much of a selection. Country, but classical, Jeff. <laughs> Just tell me what you want to listen Let's to. Let's throw in some country. It's a party. Um, maybe something country? Let's throw some. That's it's a, my favorite. It's a, I knew Ruby would <laughs> like it. Shocker. It's a party. Country. Country. It's, let's do it. Jazz, I don't know. Jazz is fine with a party, but I feel like country tends to be more upbeat than jazz. Well, no, that's not true. Jazz can be upbeat, too. Ah, I just wanted to make Ruby happy. Let's make Mom happy. Violet is a type of purple. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Mm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. AJ, I was thinking you something, pick something uplifting, like, we're gonna get through this. Just trying to instill some confidence, you know? AJ, why don't you come up with something? Really? I have an idea. It'll be a surprise. Oh, oh no. Okay, we'll see how this goes. Promise not to swear all over it. Please don't. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. <sighs> right, yeah. This place is gonna look great. These kids can't even choose a color without our help. How do they manage without us? I know. Seriously. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Hmm. Okay. What do you hey, got, Willie? Clem, check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. Wow. He is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? You're gonna about? blow up their boat? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. Oh, I don't know about this. the only way this. to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? That could kill us all. I don't want to uh, discourage you. But we're gonna be on that boat to rescue the others. Please, don't get us killed. What? No! I mean, yeah, I still have a few details to work out, but don't worry. I'll make sure there's time for you to get off the boat before she explodes. Trust me, this'll work. We'll be okay. I don't know if we have a choice, okay, do we? I don't think everyone. we got a choice in this matter. We're blowing up a boat. And, um, Clem, I'm sorry for before, about how I treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. You should apologize to him. It's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Yeah, tell Ten, not me. Apologize to him. But I appreciate you apologizing to me, even though I'm not the one you should be apologizing to. Oh, yeah, AJ, get down with it. <laughs> Are we gonna dance again? Oh, Rosie's gonna be joining us in the pate. Oh no, Willie's gonna die next. Oh, wow. I can this see it. Looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. Surprise dummies. Just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. Okay. I guess I'll mingle. Mingle. How are you guys doing? I see you two are working together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. Actually, ah, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. I mean, sure. I Why think not? It deserves a name. Why not? Yeah, we it's absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but. Hell yeah! Let's name his fucker. Willie Jr. Roby's Revenge. Mitch's... Oh, sure. How about Mitch's Masterpiece? Yeah. I like that. 
Mitch would have too. Okay, okay then it's settled. <laughs> it is so cute. <laughs> I found them. Are they like your books or something? Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Ericsson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Really? Okay. This is what I we're doing? I get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. Interesting. And Do all I... the bad shit we did that kept them from sending us back home. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. I actually like this idea. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. This actually does feel like I'll a fun game. I'll make sure game. someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. That's Violet. That's all of you. That's you, Ruby. Is that Marlin? I don't think it was Marlin. I don't know if it's Violet. I'm just gonna play around and say, it's you, that's you, Ruby, isn't it? You know what, Ruby? I bet you're reading your own file. <laughs> Whoa! How'd you guess that? <laughs> I'm impressed. Really? I mean, I can totally see it. The first time I met Ruby, she was all, that little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I was so right. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> me should have seen Ruby back in the early days. She was like, uh... You ever seen those Tasmanian Devil cartoons when you were a kid? Whoa, really? <laughs> that was our Ruby. He used to have a mean streak a mile long. Really? <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. Interesting. You guys want to know why I got sent here? Willie, please, no. Chronic masturbation. What? Trust me. Nobody wanted to know that. Really? That was a Listen, long. That was a long time ago. Uh, don't you dare! I don't think you biologically could, Willie. I don't think you could. How old are uh, you, Willie? Anyway, maybe we should change up the music. I like all kind of different music. I think there's a lot of them. Put on the jazz How record. Many? I don't know. Let's change up a the music. Lot. I love this. Sure, Little things like heard this. Enough of this. Break out the jazz. Change of pace. Let's expose people to different genres. I didn't realize how many of us we lost. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper, that one girl with colored braces, and Joey, Maddie. Lamar? Wow, you guys lost a lot of Aaron. people. Yeah, I used to make fun of her braces. Why did I do that? Alex, Dewey, Trey, Stefan. This is so sad. Holy crap, how many of us died? Oh my gosh. 34. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is so sad. Oh my gosh. 34. Who's is it? Lewis. Should we read it? I could tell you why I was sent here instead. You know, as a consolation prize or whatever. You might hate me after, but since we're all being so open and all. Only if you want to share it. I was hoping you'd tell me. I spent a lot of time at my grandma's house growing up. What with my dad being a drunk and my mom working three jobs. But after my grandpa died, grandma just kind of shut down. Spent all day and night rocking in her little chair in the den. Mm. I'd sit there at her feet as we both watched TV. Mostly cartoons since she never seemed to care. Sometimes I could hear her crying, but I didn't look back. I'd just feel really weird and turn up the volume. You know? Anyway, one day she left the den and 
came back with another chair and a 22 rifle. Oh my. Set the rifle butt on the top of the chair, holding the barrel back to her chest. Oh my gosh. So, you know, she had trouble reaching the trigger this way, but she must have known it would happen because she took out this really tacky wooden back scratcher. The real long oh kind gosh. with the one end shaped like a hand. And uh, used that to push the trigger in. Oh my gosh. So yeah, bang, right? Her body folded up and just kept rocking. My mom came to get me five hours later. I hadn't moved. Oh my she gosh. She asked why I didn't call the police or an ambulance or anything. I just shrugged and told her it wasn't like grandma was going anywhere. And besides, I just wanted to finish my cartoons. Wow. 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 It's all I have to she say. She shipped me off to Erickson the next day. I was 11. Wow. I'm so sorry, Violet. I can't imagine what that was like. What you went through. It's fine. We've just been through a lot of shit. We weren't good people. Clementine. Trauma. But it still doesn't mean that we should have been left here to die by the people that were supposed to take care of us. Mm-hmm. I agree. Sorry. This is supposed to be fun. I'm I'm just not the game type, like Lewis was, I guess. You mean is. We'll see him soon. Ten's right. Hey, I've got an idea. Yeah, what is you it? You guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid? When all of us used to get scared. Too bad I can't play it. Lou would have known, huh? He liked that that's one. That's too bad. You could just sing it to us, like she used to. Your voice is really pretty. Yeah, sing. Okay. Okay, yeah. All right, I, uh... I can do that. A serenade. She's good. Brush away the sorrow. Brush away the tears. Sing away your heavy heart. The night will be over soon. The night will be over soon. Wow. For every night goes quiet. And every moon grows blue. Beyond the dark comes something new. The sun will be rising soon. The sun will be rising soon. The sun will be rising soon. Beautiful job. Beautifully well done. That was so cool. Oh, that was so good. What I it reminded me of the song that um Talia sings in 
the Game of Thrones and Telltale Games' Game of Thrones um, series. And what I loved about actually both Talia's song and this song that um, that Violet just sang is whoever was singing it, um, it was very raw. You know, it wasn't like polished or like auto-tuned or any of that stuff. It was just, you know, it sounded like somebody just randomly without any preparation, got up in a living room and just started singing a cappella this song. It, it was it was done so perfectly. Uh, I believed that this was just an impromptu, uh, I guess I'm gonna sing for you guys now. Um, and, and I think um, that just made it so real and so like genuine to me. I love that. I'm guessing if um, Lewis was here, he would have played the piano. And I don't know if Lewis would have, he probably would have sung the song too with the piano. So I'd love to hear him perform the song as well. Um, yeah, I love, I love that the, they, did a, they did a great job pacing this episode again, giving us these moments, these quiet moments and not just jumping right into, they could have easily skipped over this entire party scene and just went straight to rescuing their friends but the fact that they're like slowing down a bit and actually giving us a chance to really get ourselves attached to these characters is why didn't they do this more in their other episodes or their other um other uh games why, why didn't they give us more of this this is what we wanted i think many of us want i wanted at least um so very well done um, since episode three, three dropped the fandom has learned much more about chronic masturbation he totally could have I do like the jazz record those poor kids lost 34 is it any wonder how wonder Marlon was how he was is it any wonder how Marlon was how he was that's a very fair point Clementine great time to put on jazz Hark speaking of which braces in the apocalypse must be hell <laughs> I'm sure it must have been Yep, great point, Clem. I am back, and geez, I'm lucky I did not miss this scene. The feels. I'd probably be shocked and frozen, too, or, like, run and hide. I felt like Hark would like this scene. It exposes a lot of people's baggage for us to see. Yeah, I think there's a timeline oversight there. Clem was 8 on day 0. Violet was 11 when sent to Erickson. Does Violet really seem 3 or 4 years older than Clem? I don't know. I guess Skybound has the budget to pay for a singing part too. Wonder how much extra a VA gets paid for it. A lot of voice actors are good singers, but not all of them perform in games and such. It could have been more spread out. I mean, the boarding school is a little bit more isolated and such. She doesn't look older. This scene gave me chills. Though it is weird, Ten probably should have been born around the same time as AJ or even a couple years earlier, but still kind of too young to be at a school like this. I don't know. I'd assume Marlon was in his early 20s. Same with Lewis. Beautiful voice. Sing it out, Violet. Iron from ice. Yes. Iron from ice. If you had Lewis instead, you'd get piano and tradition instead, which means we could probably splice them together. Splice Lewis and... and I, I bet you that's how they did it. They had them... Had her sing with Lewis playing the piano or someone playing the piano, rather. And then for a complete song and just kept them separate. But if you can like put them on top of each other i'm sure the music and her singing would have would have lined up and that was i'm sure somebody is probably gonna end up doing that um where is he da, da, da. there is a youtube video with violet singing alongside lewis doing the piano scene yeah i figured that's gonna be something i will be checking out because that sounds cool i wish you could hear both the piano and the violet singing i'm glad these type of scenes are back i think they were t badly missing in the previous season I agree 100%. I feel like these were missing in the last, the two seasons prior. Season, um, uh, or, or, yeah, I guess last season. Last season mostly. Um, I, that I agree with, Claudio. There was very little actual character building, just a lot of arguing. Yeah, I agree too. I'm glad that there, that there is conflict, but they don't, it's not over the top. 
Um, I'm impressed how much Violet is in this episode, given that she could not be here at all, depending on the choices. I'm sure there would have been a lot of Lewises if Lewis was the one that was uh, rescued. We need more character times, yes, but I think it did help that the writers changed from each season of the Walking Dead games. I wonder if Skybound would pick up the other Telltale games, but understandable if they don't. I really want The Wolf Among Us too. seriously do. That was supposed to be the next uh, Telltale games to do list. Yeah, I know. Nice. That was nice. Now, it's time to go with our mission. That was really well done. Who's gonna live and who's gonna die? <gasps> oh! I know where this is. It's the train. Sweet pea. Highly. Oui? Oh, yes. Hi, Lee. I missed you, Lee. Why the train? You always pick the train. <laughs> I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Look at her you hair. Me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Oh, Lee. You were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me, and I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. Well, if you mess up, you still have one you know, more episode I was, left. Uh, making it all up as I went along, right? <laughs> Couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. You kinda had to think on your feet. Monsters took over the world. And you got stuck taking care of an eight-year-old girl. You were a handful. But I didn't get stuck with anything. You kept me going. You wanna tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now, and I've been in so many, and they always fall apart, but I really like this one. It's different. Hmm, that's true. It almost feels like home. Oh. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. Yeah. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends, and getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. Because we have one more episode anyway. You don't know that. We, I know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. You're right. I just needed to hear you say it. I'm going to get my friends out of this. Every one of them alive. Oh, uh, okay. That's right. Good to have goals. Imagine what Lewis is gonna say when he sees your face. Those boys are gonna have hope again, knowing that you came to rescue him. <sighs> Omar and Asim too, you know. Not just Lewis. Oh, sweet pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Yeah. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A girl who loves you. They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Oh. Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Same place, same time. Out and safe. Yep, same place, same time. All right, Lee. Sound good. And hopefully we can talk about happier things. If you know of any. Lee, I miss you 
so much. Mm. I wish you were really here. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Oh, this is so good. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. Oh, I'm so glad they brought back Lee again. I meant to ask. How's the boy? AJ? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. Oh, he can shoot. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. <sighs> Think you got a handle on it? Uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. It was easier for me since the world was just changing. But you're living in one that's changed completely. I'm gonna be honest. AJ is a challenge. <laughs> oh my god, Lee. AJ's trouble sometimes. He wouldn't believe it. And he has no idea. He's growing up too fast. <laughs> Sounds like someone else I know. I don't think he... Yeah, I think he needs to grow faster. <laughs> I don't think you can grow up too fast in this world anymore, unfortunately. I think you can not grow fast enough. It's end of the line. Wow. Just look at you. Oh. <laughs> Just look at you. Oh. I know I told you I'd always keep moving, Lee. But I'm tired of running. I... I have a home now. Mm -hmm. Then you're off the hook. <laughs> a home is better than I could have ever hoped for. We gotta... Yeah, Time we'll... to go, Clementine. Okay. You've got people that need you. Oh, thank... Goodbye, Lee. Goodbye, Lee. Thank you for coming back, David. The voice actor for Lee. Oh, that was... Oh, God. I'm surprised they didn't save that for the last Wake episode, up. though. It's time to go. We got a long walk. Maybe in the next episode... Maybe in the next episode... This is not going to happen. Wishful thinking heart. Maybe in the next episode... We're going to have her just before the big climax dreaming and Lee will be there, but also Luke and Javier will be there too. It's not going to happen, but ah, one can dream. Uh, seeing Clem. Oh, geez. Yeah, this scene, man. This scene. Definitely amazingly awesome. Uh... Feels time. Do you think Hark is excited? It's here. How much of a strain is it to go back to a young Clem voice? I can make my voice sound higher, younger, but I don't think I could hold it for too long. Lee, all the feels. This scene got me so hard. I cried so much seeing Lee and Clem back together. It hurt so much. Same, just seeing Clem this tiny again took my breath away. I physically couldn't. Like, I paused it and had to take time, but I broke down at the end. She's so adorable. I just want to hug Lee. I do too. Lee, geez, every time I hear David's voice, uh, I, it makes, I get more choked up because as I hear, I think of Lee. I wonder if we'll ever see a proper flashback of the ranch. I probably won't. You are missed, David Fenoy. You think mentions Lewis because he's, he's supposed to be a romance option? No, I think it's just because Lewis is the one that was the other person that we could have saved, but we didn't. Um, I love that Clem still goes to him when she's feeling vulnerable. She's tough, but everyone needs their inner child moments. Yeah, it's very symbolic that way. Maybe in another game he'll get to be a character that doesn't die in the end, though I swear I heard his voice in another LP I watched a while back. I don't remember what the game, though. Yeah, he does a... David Fenoy, he voice, voice acts a lot of games. A lot of characters in games. A girl who loves you. Lee, why must you destroy my heart to being such a good dad? He was Blackbeard in the Wolf Among Us one. Yeah, I remember that. She's so sweet. The relationship just kills me. All grown up. Watching this a second time just hurts so much more. 
Though I meant I heard him a while back in a non-Telltale game, or at least it sounded like a lot in his voice actor. Yeah, he. I, I actually remember hearing Lee in, um, or David Finoy's voice in Enderall, which is another game that I played, which is um, from the from the uh, Skyrim. Um, it's a mod, a Skyrim mod game. Definitely check it out if you have Skyrim. Um, Oh, yeah, he was in a ton of things. He was Jacob's dad in Mass Effect 2. Oh, yes, he was Jacob's dad in Mass Effect 2. Guys, um, I think it sounds like Jacob's dad. Try it. Okay, I think it was in that newer Spider-Man game, that pigeon. Sidekick sounds like he, like Lee's voice to me, voice actor to me, at least. Clem and AJ both seem to have PTSD symptoms from the ranch. I want to know what happened to them there. He was also in Fallout New Vegas briefly. I'm going to get around to playing it one day. One day. I'm. That was a great scene. I'm glad they did that. Good job. Skybound and Telltale. Telbound or Skytail. Skytail. Okay, that's the signal. Uh, I guess we're really doing this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend to... He's here. Good lord. Uh, hello. Hi, James. Guys, this is James. Yeah. He's my friend. Yeah. He's, uh, so cool. Yeah, he is. How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh, I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? Really, That's Molly. not a good idea. Come on, please. Give him some space. Well, come on, give him some space. But I just want to... Not right now. Not, not neck now. Yeah, right. Sorry. Control yourself, Willie. Control. I didn't mean to be weird or anything. It's okay. It's okay. You can't help it sometimes, I know. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. I, uh, uh, hey. Hey there, James. Sorry about Willie. Um, Clementine, could I speak to you alone for a moment? Sure. Good idea. Yeah. What's up? Hold tight. What's up? Hey, Tank, can you come talk for a sec? There's something I have to tell you. Oh, yes. The walkers. Oh. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Your friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Like you. Do you want to join us? Join us. It's not usually how my first impressions go. Join us, James. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. It's just being welcomed. They could be your strange. friends. Could that have... one boy called me cool. I'm not sure anyone's ever said that to me. A lot of us have you said know, that about you, James. could be your friends, too. I'd be your I friend, James. I you didn't want to come into the school before, but now that you've met them... I haven't lived with people in a long time, but... It does sound nice. Let me think about it. Yes, think about it. Please, it'd be cool to have you there. Is it showtime? I wanted to show you something. This is... was my boyfriend, Charlie. Oh! We joined the Whispers together. Oh! Really? That's but so cool! It changed him in a way that couldn't be undone. It changed both of us. Oh, no. What do you mean? Poor Charlie. The Whisperers were my family from a young age. In that time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison, and I believed in that fiercely. 
So much so, that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack... Mmm. Mmm, I see. I slit his throat. Oh, no! I didn't talk to him. Didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't That's even remember like his name. That's not like you now, at, all, at least. All I knew was someone like him would only slow us down. He was your boyfriend. That was enough of a reason for me. He was your boyfriend. That's, that's kind of hard to believe. Very hard for me to believe Doesn't now. Doesn't sound anything like you. Not anymore, but it was. I had no doubt in my mind that I was right. After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. No one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself. <gasps> oh. He said it was wrong, but it sounded like he was just repeating what he'd been told. 